In this video, I'm going to give you a complete Lyft driver app tutorial. Jumping right into it, as you can see, I'm located right now in the El Segundo area in LA. And first off, if I zoom out, you can see the map of where you are. This little kind of arrow right here is, of course, your location. And then I can see the hot spots. You can see the different bonuses all around. As you can see, some are going to be worth more than others. This also does vary. Right now, it's $5.51 on a Tuesday. So that is something to keep in mind, like a random $6 one right here. I don't know why, but you can see all the different like bonuses if you are in that area. Secondly, I'm going to show you this as well. This depends city to city, but if I click this, you can see that for the airport for LAX, there are 40 drivers, at least at the exact time of this video, and I can enter the queue to catch a ride at the airport. Some airports, you can just order a lift normally like a normal ride. Right now, at the exact time of this video, there is something going on called the LA exit. They're doing a bunch of construction. So as opposed to getting a normal ride, we just kind of order it normally there is like a queue and everything so that's why they have this here oh it dropped down to 35 drivers that is something to keep in mind that if you do do airport rides and your airport does have like a queue type feature that they might show it here as you can see here with lax continuing with the main layout if i want to go online all i have to do is click go online it's that simple and then down here you can see unlock silver so as you can imagine the more that you drive for lyft the more you're going to get more perks, bonuses, etc. I will get into that a little bit later in this video, but I can see that right here. And in addition, when it comes to the Lyft driver app, this is a great feature. Under Unlock Silver, if I click and drag up like so, I can see kind of the peak times to drive. So as you can see on Tuesday, for example, it was super high, you know, it looks around the morning commutes. And then now at this point, it's getting a little bit higher and then it peaks back up as it gets a bit later. And if I click see full schedule, now I can see, all right, so for example, on Wednesday, you know, as you can see around seven, eight or 9 a.m., pretty standard, I can have a nice peak hour. In addition, I can also see events. So right here, high demand at the Kier form. So from 9.30 p.m. to 11 p.m., if I click this, I am now seeing predicted busyness. Starts at 9.30, ends at 11, and you can see the attendance is at 11,000 people. I can see what's exactly going on. So it's a panic at the disco concert, it looks like, and the venue, the key or form. So that's really cool to know. And in addition to that, let's say I'm like, oh wow, that's a really good idea. I can click this and it will give me a notification. So if I wanna get on the road, let's say around 9.30, maybe just set it for nine, or maybe even 8.45, for example, hit set reminder, Boom, now get a reminder to say, hey, go out on the road. This is the time to make a lot of money. I am gonna turn this off because unfortunately I am busy tomorrow, but just to show you how to use that feature. In addition, I can look at scheduled rides. So when I click this, I can see available pickups, you know, like say if I want to schedule a pickup or whatever, and then my pickups, which is very important to have in case people are scheduling in advance. So I can do this going to full schedule again. I can see every day to see what's going on. You know, as you can see, there's something going on at the crypto.com arena on Thursday. I can see exactly what's happening every single day. Now going back to the main page, if I click the bottom right hand corner, I do have some preferences. On destination mode, this is a huge pro tip I've already talked about. Rather than have the destination be your house, which is what a lot of people do, pick a very high surging area. This obviously depends city to city, but this is a great feature to use to make more money by heading to a high surge area, and I can do these however I want. And then lastly, under preferences, I can see nearby gas discounts. So going down here, I can see eligible gas stations in my area. So you can see, you know, this general uh, pricing list, which right now, it's gotten a little bit cheaper. I'll put that in quotation marks. It was recently super high. Gas here in LA is just horrible. I mean, the cheapest I'm seeing, what? 568 isn't bad. Is that this? No, all right, 561. That's all the way down to Manhattan Beach, though. It's a bit far. You know, so I mean, these are the kind of things you have to do to kind of zoom out and be like, all right, which is the cheapest that is worth the drive, you know, because saving a few cents per gallon to go 10 or 20 minutes on the road, in my opinion, it's not worth it. But this is a great feature to have. I mean, if you look up here, I mean, 5.33 in Windsor Hills, 20 cents a gallon cash back, pretty awesome. Going up here now to the upper right, this has notifications. So it shows you different updates and everything. So right now I just have like a refer driver notification that I can get some uh, some money if I refer somebody. But if I go here, you can see a couple other things just for like 
FYIs. These aren't that big of a deal, but sometimes they are important. So make sure you check this. Some notifications don't really matter. All the ones are important. And as you can imagine in the upper right with this kind of bell symbol, it will be lit up red as you saw before. And that means, hey, you have a new notification. Now, one of the most important parts, checking your earnings. I've not driven yet this week. So as you can see up here, it says $0. If I click this, I can see what I've made so far this week, which right now is just nothing. What's cool about this is one, I can see the weekly breakdown. I can click that. I can see different things, like I said before, when it comes to see the full schedule as the page we were on before. I can see, you know, uh, any activity in terms of what I've done so far today or this week. And in addition, a really cool feature right here is with that green star is set a weekly earnings goal. I've talked about this before that one of the best parts about being a driver is the fact that you can make your own schedule. However, remember that no one's gonna bash you or come after you if you don't make enough money. So by clicking this, I can say, all right, you know, I'm gonna, I feel like this week, let's like say I wanna do it just part-time. So I'm gonna do 20 hours. So I'll do, you know, 16 to 20 hours. So I'll click that. And then I'm gonna go to next. And then let's say I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gonna do a nice earnings goal of 400, right? So maybe make about 20-ish an hour, comes to about 400 bucks. So I'll click this go set goal and then boom, I can also do a custom input. So now I have my earning set. So now what's cool about this is when I'm driving, I can look here and see, oh, I've only made $200 this week. I need to make 200 more to hit the goal I put in place for myself. Great feature. And then lastly, the most important feature, and in my opinion, the most underrated part about this entire Lyft app is you can see right there, cash out and purple. What this means, and this is pretty amazing, that rather than wait a week, two weeks, sometimes even a month to get paid, you can click cash out and it will instantly appear in your bank account. However, as you can see here, you need at least $5.50 to cash out your earnings. Being honest, if you do one ride, you'll probably get that, right? So it's super easy to get and that's pretty awesome. That let's say you're like, shoot, I gotta pay this bill or and this is something I do a lot. Like say it's a Friday and I'm like, all right, I'm going on some friends because LA is very expensive. I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of money. Why not drive, make 50 bucks, cash it out instantly. So that 50 bucks is in my bank account. Now I can go out and I have 50 bucks to spend and kind of enjoy myself. Now going to the side panel. Once I click this, you can see a bunch of different things. You can see how many rides you've done. You could see your rating. You could see how long you've been a driver for. So as you can see right now, at least at the time of this video, I've done 415 rides. I have a five-star rating and I've driven for 7.7 .7 years. I will say 415 rides for my entire 7.7 .7 Lyft career is very low. I drove for a little bit, then stopped driving for years, then drove for a little bit here and there. I also will say, I hate to say it, Uber does pay more. So I've mostly favored Uber, at least in certain markets that I've been in. So I will say that, remember, every area is different. And in some cases, Uber does pay more. In other cases, Lyft does pay more. But that's something that's cool to see. Now you can see all these different categories. So I have more ways to earn, scheduled pickups. So I can click this. I showed you this before if you do want to do scheduled pickups. In addition, refer a driver. The Lyft referrals are pretty high. I'm not going to lie. They're anywhere between, I'd say, $500 to like $1,000. They're very high. So let's say if you have some friends who want to sign up for Lyft, make sure they use your code and they hit those metrics. Because if they do, they get a sign-on bonus and you get a bonus for referring them. It's a win-win. Going now down here, I have vehicles and devices. Your vehicles is pretty straightforward. Schedule vehicle service is pretty cool because if I click this, I can make an appointment right within the app. And in addition, you can see at the top, get speedy, low cost vehicle services from friendly Lyft team members. So you get a little bit of a discount as opposed to just popping into a mechanic and spending everything out of pocket. You know, you can select your car and get a discount on maintenance, which is pretty awesome. And making the appointment to you right in the app super quick and lastly the lift amp so if i click that i can order it if i want where it says the passenger's name it looks very sleek it's a pretty cool design you know i'll, I'll give lift that then going to feedback and rewards you could see of course what people have ranked you rated you you know said about your car and the driving experience then lift rewards remember this is a huge way to make a lot of money like i said i don't really drive for lift but if i go down here you could see your progress to silver so the more i drive the more money i'm going to make the more perks i'm going to get but these are rewards for all drivers. You can see, you know, get cash back up to 25 cents per gallon with upside, get cash back 1% with the Lyft Direct debit card, which I've already done a video about. And as you can imagine, the higher you get on this tier list, the more perks you're gonna get. So you can learn a language for two bucks a month, which as a side note, just use Duolingo, it's free. But as I said that, you get a free Lyft Pick membership, which is pretty cool. You save money on rides, save on TurboTax self-employed, which also is another side note. 
just hire a tax accountant. Don't use TurboTax. That's a former accountant in me. And remember, I'm a former accountant, but I'm not your accountant. Some of these are pretty cool. Some of them are a bit meh. And as I go to gold, I have, you know, a lot more features. And then of course, platinum, I have even more features. Then going to account, as you can imagine, this is like your typical account information in terms of your personal info, pay and tax info, the documents you need to supply. This is important to know where this is. Cause like say Lyft says, hey, your insurance just expired. Your registration is gonna expire soon. We need you to update your registration and upload a new picture of your new registration, your new license, whatever. You do this right here within this section. Then I can go to settings. These are like macro settings for the app. Some of these are super useful. So if I click this, you can see my navigation is Google Maps. 100% make sure you do that. You know, I don't like the other GPSs and everything. I just prefer Google Maps. Now if I go down here, I can do dark mode. So it depends on if you want this on or not. Everyone's different, so if I click it just to show you, it looks like that. So it looks kind of sleek. You know, if I want to have it be this kind of dark mode, up to you. It doesn't really affect too much. It's more of the way you're looking at it. Accessibility is super helpful. So there's a couple of cool features here. Like one, text instead of call. Will let passengers know you're deaf or hard of hearing and ask them to text instead of call. So if you are deaf or hard of hearing, this is a great feature to have. And then lastly, flash for new rides. We'll flash the screen when you get a new ride request to help grab your attention. Then going to safety tools. This is very important. I know a lot of people have asked me, is there any way to be as safe as possible when driving for Lyft? And this is a cool feature that I can click add and add somebody in. So I can add like a contact in where I'm constantly sharing my location as a driver. So not just for passengers, but for drivers as well. And then lastly, I have these share settings. So let's say I'm gonna tell my friend, hey, I'm always gonna let you know when I'm online, or I'm gonna choose to let you know when I'm online or not. Especially, let's say if you wanna be as safe as possible, it's not a bad idea to have this checked as always share when I'm online. That way your friend always knows Whenever you're driving, hey, this is exactly where I am at this exact moment. Then going to the security center, this is more for like logging into the app and everything. Pretty straightforward, you know, a lot of apps and devices have this. And then lastly, going down here, we have support and safety. Now the learning center, I'm not gonna lie, not to bash the lift, it's kind of mess, so I'm not even gonna talk about it that much. It's kind of just like be a good driver, kind of general stuff. But the get help is very important. I've talked about this as well on this channel. If you ever have a random dispute with a passenger, let's say they're just being super difficult, I highly suggest, let's say just a very difficult ride and you're like, wow, I, I don't know what's going on with them. It's not a bad idea, especially let's say if they bring up something like, hey, you did this, you did that or whatever to contact a lift as soon as possible. And as you can see here, I can quickly contact lift. Let's say if there's like an issue with something, let's say an accident happens, God forbid, clicking down below in terms of accident, damage or unsafe ride, I can click this and I can report damage or an accident. And of course, a lot more intense things in terms of drug use. If let's say someone's drinking in your car, which unfortunately people try to do and they always think they're being super like sneaky about it, but we know, like we're not dumb. Open container or drug use is right there. So I can contact the left for any one of these situations and make sure you do so in case something does happen. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe it's human psychology, maybe it's left's policy, but I feel like if an incident happens and you're the first person to contact the lift, I find it's a lot better to be almost on the offense. Say, hey left, I just wanna let you know, I had a passenger, this is what happened. As opposed to the other way around, where like say left contacts you saying, hey, we heard this about you and this passenger was complaining and now you have to like be like, whoa, 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 well, that's not what happened. And now you have to like defend yourself. I think it's just easier to contact them right away. Just way easier doing this. And then there are of course different help sections for each individual thing, whether you're looking at renting a drive, delivering with Lyft, which is a thing that's starting to become a lot more popular and a lot of other features.